Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. We're going to have a good week this week. We got a ton of boxing on this week. Going to get into all that. Going to break it down. Going to show you how to make money. Uh, bouncing back off of last week where we went just two and two. But um, we're going to go all back. We're going we're gonna to make a ton of money this week. Um, and I'm going to get into the one that everyone seems to want me to break down. This is the first one everyone wants me to talk about. So I'm going to get into Roly Ramiro and Isak Cruz. This is a really entertaining fight. It's a fun fight. So I get why y'all want me to get into it. Before I do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight, showing you how to bring down the house and consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. There you go. Uh, betting on the sport of boxing. Um, the odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I know how to handicap the sport. I'm going to show you how to do that. I'm going to show you how to bring down the house and make money consistently betting on the sport of boxing. Um, also, uh, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. Uh, the link is in the description. Files a month gets you the lock of the week. It gets you uh, ask the bookie anything. You ask me a handicap a fight, break down a fight that I haven't done so, and I will do it for you. You ask me about parlays. Anything you want, I got you. Also, you get a free T-shirt. There's a, a ton of cool perks in that as well. Uh, so it is uh, also subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, let's get into uh, Roly Ramiro and Isak Cruz. Roly Ramiro, short, compact fighter. Works behind, and this is going to be a, short's going to be a, a trend in this fight. Uh, front foot fighter, works behind a jab. He actually stalks pretty patiently, uh, especially early in the fight. He sticks out the jab, and he stalks, and he does like to counter. He likes to let you make the first mistake. Um, if you can't do that, he, he he does come forward with the jab, but he when he, when you see him unleash, when he unwinds, it's it's usually uh, not leading but countering. Uh, Cruz is going to lead a lot more, and this is going to be an interesting fight. I think Cruz, uh, not Cruz, Ramiro, honestly has terrible footwork. Uh, you see him cross his feet. He's got he's got some bad habits, and he comes he's flat footed and he comes straight in. He's not difficult to hit. He's not difficult to find, but. Like I said, he's got a good jab, and his jab, I think, is basically his defense. He's fairly athletic, strong base, and throws hard. He throws everything hard. He's he's brutally, powerfully strong, but he's sloppy. Comes in first. He comes in face first. Like I said, he he's there to be hit. His aggression, aggression, is in a counter position. Heavy hitters. I, it, it appears, takes him out of his rhythm. Tank Davis sat back. If you're aggressive and you come after him, you can take him out of his rhythm and you can make him go backwards. If you can make him go backwards, he's not a particularly good fighter going backwards. He wants to come forward. But if he wants to come forward, he also often comes in face first. But you can see why this is a flawed fighter. You got to make him go back. And the way to make him go back is to... Because Esau Cruz is not the counterpuncher Tank Davis is. So you got to make him go backwards. That's how, that's how you're going to disrupt him, to make him go backwards. And Isak Cruz can, can definitely do that. Like I said, he gets hit a lot. He's got a good chin. You know, Tank Davis can sleep anyone. Uh, it's not an issue there. But there's not a lot of head movement from Roley, and he's just a stationary target. That can be picked apart. But he, like I said, he's, he, he leads with the jab. He stalks with the jab, and he's a good counter puncher. And he's got a lot of power. He's fairly athletic, and he's strong as an oxy. I mean, he can crack. And that's going to be the last thing that's going to go. So he's going to have that. What does Isak Cruz do? Crouches down, fights small. He's small, and he, and he fights small, and, and, and he uses that to his advantage. Front foot guy as well. Super aggressive off the front foot. Aggressive, throws hard, throws wide. Throws a lot of hooks, a lot of power shots. I wish he would use his jab more. He's got good wins. He's got a win back in 2020 over uh, Gunnerman uh, Thomas Batiste. Like he's got good uh, on top of the other wins that he's got. You know he's got a, a he's got a ton of good wins. His his resume is better than you uh, better than you may think. I'll leave it at that. I'm sorry. I'm I'm losing my brain right now. All right, sorry about that. Okay, he's 25, 2, and 1. 
Uh, he's got the win over Cabrera. He's got the win over Gamboa. He's got the win over. Uh, he's got a, a, a tight loss to Javante Davis. He's got the win over Francisco Vargas, Diego Magdaleno, and Thomas Batista. So since 2020, he's been fighting high level fighters. I actually think he's got the more experience and and and, and the better resume. He, he he loads up on his shots and he telegraphs his shots. His flaws are obvious. He's a little more mobile. He, he moves his head a little bit better. He crouches down and slip shots a little bit better than uh, Roley does. I'm not saying he's a defensive wizard. Obviously, he is not. But you can see there's a little bit of head movement. He crouches low. He can make you miss. Now you're punching down, which can you know limit your power. He's he's. I think he's busier. I think he throws in more volume. He's really, really good on the inside where I don't think Roley is. Roley kind of wants you at that distance at, at arm's length so, so the power can be at the end of his punches. I think Cruz mixes up his shots better, head, body, head, body. He's a really, really good body puncher. I think a lot of these these little tans- these little intangible things, these little things that you can't exactly put your finger on, I think Cruz does a lot better. I think Cruz is a more, a more well-rounded fighter. He can chase you down better. He can cut off the ring. I don't know if um, Roley, who's probably the better athlete, I don't know that Roley's going to really use the ring. I don't think that's going to be a part of his game plan. But if he does, uh, Cruz can cut the ring off. We saw him do it with Thomas Matisse he's, and, and, and Cabrera. He can he can do it. He sits down. He commits to his shot. He throws wide. He mixes up head body. He does offensively. He's good. He just doesn't jab enough. And that is the downfall. Of him. He does not jab enough. He doesn't jab his way in. He tries to load up and he telegraphs his shots coming in. That's his floor. He can be countered. Roll is a good counter puncher. That's what makes this fight so interesting. Um, I, I think you could tell. And he also slip shots a lot better than Rolly. Um, But I think you can see which way I'm leaning. But this is a, a really, really good fight. Either guy could win. So it's, it's not as if this is one-way traffic or an easy fight to pick. It is it's certainly not. That was last week. All right, let's take a look at this week. Roly Romero and Isak Cruz. Money line. A little wide. Isaac Cruz minus 285. I think, honestly, the odds to be a little closer, but I do think Isak Cruz is going to win. Uh Right now, if you go to DraftKings, there's no prop bet. There's no uh, over-under. It's just the money line. The money line, I love Isak Cruz on. $100 bet, it's not terrible. It's going to make you $35. So make your one-times bet on Isak Cruz on the money line. He's right now minus 285. My guess is, and I don't want to see you guys wrong, and I'd rather be early than late, but my guess is this line is going to come down. And a week from now, he might be minus 235, minus 250, something like that. Um and Roly Romero will be plus 175. So depending on who you like, I like Cruz. You might want to wait until we get a little closer to fight day. It's still about a week away. This is just 24. The fight's on the 30th. I like Cruz. I think Cruz is going to win the fight. Take Cruz on the money line. I'll bet. You want times bet. I'll bet makes you 35 08. We're going to get back into this fight uh, when they do, if and when DraftKings adds the props, which I I certainly think they will. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Join the Patreon. The link is in the description. uh, Five dollars a month. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you all the perks. As to booking anything, I'll handicap any fight that you want. I'll give you the odds of any fight. We come up with a parlay. We're going to come up with two parlays this week, a midweek one and then a Saturday one. So we're going to have two parlays for you as well to make money on. You get a free t-shirt too. And there's a ton of other perks. It's five dollars a month. Join the Patreon. Uh, also subscribe to the other Texas Boxing Scene uh, on YouTube. Hit the like button on the way out. It's March 24th, 2024 from Texas to the world. Thank you.